What up guys, Alex here, GuitarForce.com. So today we're gonna take a look at Cracker Man by Stone Temple Pilots. A pretty cool song to play, nothing too complicated. We only got two, three sections going on here, plus a solo. Uh, it could be a little bit challenging in regards to the uh, rhythm parts, but um, all in all, it's nothing too complicated. So we're gonna break down all of the parts in this lesson. Uh, if you're going to need the uh, tabs and the backing track, I will post the link in the description box down below. And uh, also, uh, we'll, make a, um, we'll link the uh, cover playthrough of this song if you're interested. Uh, you can also find the link in the description box down below. Uh, the tuning for this song is going to be standard. For the sound, I was using the VST plugin guitar rig and also the wah pedal on the solo, but I'm not going to be using the wah in this lesson. Um, so. While you're checking out the picture of the preset, I'm going to play you my low E string so you can tune up and play along with this lesson. Alright, so we're going to break up the song into parts. We're going to start off with the intro and also the riff that we played during the intro. It's being played during the chorus. It's the exact same thing. So the riff itself goes like this. All right, so this riff, we can break it up into two parts. The first part being played uh, based on the B power chord in this position right here and we alternate the B power chord with the open A string. So the pattern itself goes like this. It's very simple. So we start off with the open A string, playing it once, and then we play the power chord two times. And we repeat this over and over again. Like that. So you can just leave your... Um, the other finger which is covering the B chord here and just lift off the first finger fretting the B note. So alternating with the A note, the open A string, and then playing the chord. Now because it's, um, it's been played, it's uneven number of notes. In other words, we play the A only one time and the chord two times. Altogether it becomes three, um, uh, three notes that we play. And because we play it against 4-4, four, four, it, it can get a little bit weird in terms of rhythm. Again, when you play against the drums and the bass. So the best way is just to keep going like that um, and just listening to the drums and bass and when you have to change uh, to the next part. Uh, so all in all, we play this first part for two bars. And then after that, we have the last notes uh, being played, the A open string and we go to the second part of the of the riff which is we simply just go down to the F sharp now here in the F sharp is pretty much the same thing so we play uh, the chord two times and then we alternate the chord with um, the first time we alternated with the low E string open and the second time we alternate it with the, an A string open Either A string or you can play it like a little power chord, the A power chord. And it's gonna go like this. And in the end, so we start off with the low E string open, then we play the chord two times, then the A, the chord two times, again low E open, the chord two times, then the A, the chord two times, again low E open, once, and then the chord we play three times. Okay, so that's the only difference with the uh, first part of the riff. Again, like I said, because we use two and one, it becomes a little bit tricky. Uh, so this part we also played for two bars, and then we go back to the beginning of the riff again, so we go to the B chord. Um, so it takes a little bit of time to process this whole thing, but once you get the hang of it, you know, it just becomes a sort of like a second nature to play that. So I'm going to play the whole riff again slowly, both of the parts, uh, four bars, so you can hear what's going on. So it goes like this. All 
right, so after we finish playing the intro riff, we have a small part which kind of connects the intro with the verse. And it just uh, consists of two chords. So we play an A power chord. And then we add this. Uh, it's a kind of uh, an A6 with a flat 5. Uh, if you have to break it down, it sounds a little bit like a diminished chord as well. So it's just the A power chord. And then we add again the A string open. And we just add these three notes. So, so that's the chord. And then we have slide out and we go into the next part. All right, moving on, now we go to the uh, next part, which is the, uh, the verse. And during the verses, it's very simple. Basically what we do, we play the second part of the intro slash chorus riff. So when we, when we stay uh, on the F sharp power chord and we play exact same figure, but over and over again, um, not going to the B. All right, so no need to explain that. I'm just gonna play it through a couple of times um, slowly. So it goes like this. And right after that part, we go right into the uh, uh, chorus, which is again, just going to the B, power chord and playing the riff all over again just like we did for the intro exact same way all right so after we finish playing the first and the second verse and choruses we have a, a bridge section uh, which um, goes like this <laughs> Okay, so here we have um, uh, three chords going on. First, we start off with the F sharp power chord. Then we go to A. Then we go to D. Then we have the first fill. So here we have a double stop on the second and third strings on the fourth fret. You bend it up, bring it down. Then you alternate that with the second fret. So bend up, bring down, then go to the second fret, back to the double stop, back to the second fret, and then we have the last one, this double stop. So uh, fourth fret on the third string and fifth fret on uh, the second string. Alternative, alternatively, you can kind of bend up a little bit, uh, but it's not the same. It's Actually, Dean is playing this live. You can see that he's playing the double stop here. So like that. Then we repeat again the first part with the chords. So as you play the D power chord, let it ring out. You can pick different strings like D string, A string open, and then we have a, a bend and release on the low E string on the fifth fret before going back to, the, to playing the chords again. So we have... Then we repeat the first part again with the, with the double stops. And then last time again we play the chords. And you let the D power chord ring out and then we go into the solo. So that's the bridge section one more time, all of the uh, parts together, slowly gonna go like this. Alright, so the next part we have is the solo and before we start breaking it down, just want to mention a couple of things. So first of all, Dean is using the wah pedal on the solo and it masks, it covers some of the notes and um, you know, they produce slightly different uh, sound effects when you are playing it with the wah. Now I'm not going to be playing with the, with the wah so you can hear the notes better, uh, but just keep that in mind. Uh, and also another thing, uh, he's improvising all the time. Uh, if you listen to the live uh, versions, you know, every time he's playing it is it's slightly different. So also keep that in mind. 
but uh, main thing here is um, he's using the F sharp minor pentatonic and also um, there is a, a blue, blues uh, scale there in, as well just uh, one note um, and also another thing is the solo is not is not like you know uh, very um, rhythmical I mean it, it, it kind of floats around some of the parts are you know very rhythmical but a lot of times it's just floating around and I think he's going just more of for um, for effect rather than playing um, you know distinct phrases so keep that in mind as well and the uh, notes that you see in the tablature they're just a just um, as a guide uh, for your reference alright so you can improvise and add some of your things when you're playing this solo, but we'll go over um, the main parts. So it starts off with the unison band here. So for two bars, actually for three bars, we just play the unison band here. So on the first string we have 14 and we're bending 17 on the B string. And as you play this um, unison band, also add va some vibrato to the uh, bend string. Okay, after that he does... So he catches uh, two strings on um, the 17th fret, um, so the B and the G string, and he bends it up. Or you can go higher to the 19th fret to create that sound. So he does a couple of uh, bends here, then comes back to the first position, and then he plays. So basically, just bending the G string on the uh, 16th fret, bend it, bend it up, and bring it down, and then he does the same on the B string on the 17th fret. So he does that for a couple of times. And then last time, bend up, bring down, add some vibrato. Then does a little a lick like that. So 14, 16 on the G string, bend up, bring it down. Then he goes. So here we go to the high E string. You can have a passing note on the 17th fret, go into the 19th fret and bend it up a full step with a gradual release, then he picks it up again. Then we have... So here, the last time we have the bend on the 17th fret on the high E string. Bring it down and then just go down the blues scale. And he also uh, uses different rhythms, so he starts off with the 16th note. And then about here he starts using the uh, triplets. Alright, so then when we get to the low E string, 14th fret, he does the, you know, uh, a bend and gradual release here on the 14th fret. And then after that we have, sorry, it's, So again, a few uh, bends here, so it's going to be on the 18th fret, on the G string. Bend it up, bring it down, add some vibrato, then do another two bends the, um, next to each other. Kind of quicker, and then the last, just bend on uh, 20th fret or 21st fret, it, it's all totally up to you which, whichever note. Just bend up, add some vibrato, and then slide out. So this is just a kind of general overview of the solo. Don't quote me on on that. I mean, it's not like hundred percent accurate, but it's somewhere um, along the lines. Um, so I'm gonna play the solo just a little bit slower, uh, all of the uh, licks together. But again, just keep in mind that this is very kind of chaotic solo, so you can add uh, some of the uh, notes. Uh, some of the licks that you like uh, to, to the playing. Alright, so here we go. Hmm. 
right, so after the solo we go back to playing the uh, chorus. Uh, and then after the chorus we have again the bridge section, so again with the... With this part, and then we have the outro which consists of uh, just playing three times the riff that we played during the verses. Uh, so it's this one. So we played for three times and then fourth time we start playing the riff and um, after a couple of times we just end it with uh, with this uh, chord so it's essentially an A power chord and then we add this note which is the flat 5 to the chord like that and we end the song so I'm gonna play uh, the outro uh, all of it together so you can see how this chord fits in the ending so it goes like this Alright guys, so that was it for this lesson. I hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. Also comment, share, subscribe if you're new to my channel. Don't forget to visit guitarforce.com for more guitar lessons. In the meantime, take it easy, see you again, and as always, let the force be with you.